holding a reserve that extends to the entire person. Someone who's practicing modesty in dress would not wear extravagant clothing with loud colors, elaborate designs, or expose unnecessary parts of the body. Modesty is a characteristic that is not self-absorbed. Taking countless selfies, spending hours in the mirror just to count your likes and your comments and your views to feel more valued. Rather, it's quiet and meek, yet esteemed. It is not shaped by fashion or culture, but by the Word of God. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10.31, Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. Immodest dress really affects our society today and I don't think we realize the impact that it has, especially on children. They grow up with no sense of value or self-worth and this is carried on into adulthood. One of the main things is the media. The media pushes this sensuality today that really affects the mind of everyone, not just children. And um, we get this image of what a woman is supposed to dress like or supposed to look like with big breasts and big butts and a tiny waist and long eyelashes and big lips and everything. And we lose our sense of what we're really supposed to look like. And we lose our sense of who we really are because we're not really looking at the person within but what's on the outside. Now by being exposed to all this sensuality, both men and women, it changes who we are. By beholding, we become changed. And if we really look at just kids playing video games or watching cartoons, um, how they behave afterwards, they, they are behaving exactly <laughs> how the cartoons were. And even as adults, if we watch a movie like, let's say we watch a spy movie or something, and we sit down for two hours watching this and we get out of the movies or from in front of the television and it's like okay now I feel like a spy and I'm doing all this spy stuff it's very obvious that the things that we look at and even the things around us not even looking at it but the things that we touch the things that we wear um, the thoughts that we have changes who we are so it's important that we guard ourselves from those things and in dressing modest and promoting modest dress, a lot can be prevented. Mary Quant, one of the designers who was given credit for the invention of the miniskirt and hot pants, says, quote, a sexual creature. She displays her sexuality instead of this coy business of hiding it. Today, she dresses to say, I am sexy, I like men, I enjoy life. Many clothes are symbolic of those girls who want to seduce a man. She also says, when asked what mini skirts will lead to, sex. So there you have it. It's not by accident that these things are, I mean, it's not just fashion. Um, there's a purpose behind everything done and even just our dress is degrading society as we know it. There's no excuse for a man to ever disrespect a woman in any way. Everyone should have respect for each other, no matter who they are, no matter how they're dressed. But we know that we can avoid a lot of incidents when we dress modestly because it creates a more pure atmosphere rather than a sensual one. A lot of times men are, have been exposed to pornography and it creates this desire within them that causes them to have no control over their passions. And we can't say that we can dress anyhow and they're just supposed to deal with it. A lot of people have problems, real problems, and we can help them by dressing modestly. Because society makes it more excusable for men to have a more sensual nature or lustful nature doesn't mean that women don't have problems too. So men and women, we are responsible for our brother. We are a brother's keeper. 
the world pushes one thing, but we don't have to be conformed to the world. Romans 12, 2 says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable will of God. We were made in God's image, and while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The value of something is based upon the price one is willing to pay for it. Christ gave everything for us, even his life. That's our value. Modesty is not only about the way that we dress. It's about our characters. It's part of our character. And how we dress is a direct reflection of what's on the inside, what's in the heart. If you look at a policeman or a doctor, you can identify them by the uniform that they wear. So what's your uniform? What message are you preaching? What message are you trying to portray to the world and what is your influence on them? Thank you.